My name is Alok and in this video you are going to understand a very important uh, or a common situation which you will find in the production setups re uh, related to SSH. So you have multiple machines in the server and in your uh, environment and we know by default SSH work on port number 22 that is the default port but it is possible that in my setup machines are configured on different ports say machine number one is is running the ssh on port number 1111 and this machine is running the port the ssh on 2222 now how will you access it and how will you remember this you are working from a different machine so means i have to, re to remember that whenever i have to ssh on this machine i have to use the port number 1111 and whenever i have to ssh on this machine I have to use the port number 2222 this can be very tedious and uh, time consuming to remember all those things and you might be using uh, multiple ssh keys if the passwordless authentication is configured which will be so how can i do that how can i make my life much more easier is what we are going to see so in this for this particular uh, setup i have two machines one running the ssh on port number 1111 and another running on 2222 so this is my node one if i give the command system ctl status i can see here this is running the ssh on 1111 and the other machine this is running on 2222 so if i hadn't configured anything then i have to use hyphen p option whenever i am trying to uh, access the, the machine so if i am here i have to run here say ssh hyphen p 1111 then i give the ip address 10.0.0.1 like this it will ask me for the password i have to give the password and then i am on node 1 see i am on node 1 similarly i have to remember that for node 2 i have to use 2222 and then change the IP address. This is not at all good. It's very difficult if you are accessing multiple machines. So what to do? In this case, the first thing which you can do is you can create a simple config file in your machine. I don't want this. So this is the first step. In your home directory, go to your SSH directory and create a config file here. And write these small lines here, host name, host, say node one, right? And uh, ideally use two uh, spaces here, host name, write the IP address 10.0.0.1 and specify which user account you're going to SSH onto this machine and the port number 1111. Similarly, do it the same for the other node, node two, and then I write here host name 10.0.0.2 user is same it can be a different user so if you have a different user account for different machines please change it here and write the port number 2222 so this is the first thing that you can do to save yourself from repetitive things and to remember the port numbers on which the machines are running save and come out now what's the benefit the benefit is all I have to do is SSH node one. See, it is hitting on that particular port with my user account and I'm able to SSH onto node one without knowing the port number, without remembering the port number, sorry. And similarly, I do SSH node two. Here, he's hitting on the respective port. I am on node two. So this is one thing which, which you can do to make your life much more easier and to be more efficient working in the production. Another thing is that uh, we you will normally have key based authentication configured and you will have different key for uh, node one and a different key for node two so what i have to do i am going to generate two keys so this is me i am working on my laptop or desktop right i have two servers let's change the color server one and server two two servers are there what i'm going to do i'm going to create a ssh key a separate ssh key for the server number one and a separate ssh key for server number two and server number uh, one is running in my case on one 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 
and server number two in my case is running on two, 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 two. So I will create two different keys, right? These are my SSH keys here. This, these are the two different SSH keys, different SSH keys for different machines, huh? for different servers. Right. Then using SSH copy ID, I'm going to copy this key to this machine, right? Send this here and send the other key to this machine using the SSH copy ID. Then all I have to do is I have to refer these files in my config file. Let's do that. So this will make the key base authentication also plus the uh, specific ports configured plus users configured. You have you have just made yourself much more efficient. So how will I do it? Let's generate the key here. I don't have the key currently. So I'm going to generate the SSH key. SSH keygen, I'm on, on the manager. Manager is me, my machine. I say SSH keygen, use the algorithm, uh, whichever you use. So I use AD255919, sorry. Right, you, uh, optionally you can uh, give some comment say I say alloc at node one right and uh, specify the file name at a different file file in my home directory dot ssh folder I say alloc underscore node one hmm? sorry node one I created a file now I have to copy this file I can see it if I go to my dot ssh directory and i see alloc at node one right now do a ssh copy id to the node one machine i do a ssh copy id hyphen p I, I have to use hyphen p because for this i have to specify the port number 1111 and hyphen i because it's a specific so dot ssh and alloc underscore node one right just write this send it to this oh sorry ssh copy id and i forgot to uh, specify my name sorry alloc at uh, uh, alloc at 10.0.0.1 right send it yeah specify the password because you are sending it so this key is added similarly i have to generate one more key for node 2 so i repeat the same command SSH keygen, I write here alloc at node 2, right, and change it to alloc underscore node 2. Another file, send this to node 2, SSH copy ID command, and here because node 2 is running on 2222, this I have to tell, I have to change node 2 and specify the IP address 2. This is one time job. That my keys are available there. I have done, I have sent the key. I can confirm it. If I go to node one and if I go inside dot SSH, I can see there under authorized underscore keys, I can see alloc at node one key is there. And similarly, if I go on the node two, I go to SSH folder and do a cat of authorized underscore keys, I can see node two here. Now, what I have to do, I simply have to modify my config file to use the keys. So I go to my SSH directory, right? Open the config file and simply add the identity file here. That's all. I identity file and the path to the file. So my path is in my home directory dot SSH folder, alloc underscore, sorry, underscore node one. That is the one. And for this machine, for this, identity identity file is home directory dot ssh alloc underscore node 2 so when doing ssh to these machines my ssh is automatically going to take respective keys when you will do ssh on this machine it will use these credentials and these keys and these keys and when you do ssh this this credential this port number and this key so save and come out. Let me try. Now I should have a password based authentication configured 
for different servers running on different ports. So all I have to do is SSH node one. See, without password, I am on the machine without password. Similarly, I do SSH node two. Job done. Without password, I am on node two. And I need not to remember that the servers are running on uh, different ports, might be different users, just because of the config file. So this is a very smart hack that you can, you must do, or you might be uh, using to access different servers running on different ports, different keys. I hope you have understood this and you have liked it. Do share the video, do like the video if you think it is useful for you. Thank you very much. I'll be seeing you soon.